There are a lot of opinions about contrails out there, guys, but we went digging for the science. We wanted to find out what's fact and what's fiction. Solar radiation management, population control, weather control, even biological and chemical warfare. Chris Haskell is a Tucson resident heading the movement here on Chemtrail. Tucson, Arizona. Yes, FEMA Region 9. And uh, here we are. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, I ain't starting to grill. <laughs> oh, shit, I got enough of this in me already. <laughs> Thank you very much from the geoengineering program. Yeah. Oh, but damn, that actually is a comet. Oh my god. Well, they're back again. Well, I got him on camera. I'll talk to you. Today is Tuesday, April 26, 2016. Here is the mist sitting in the air. Quite obvious, quite insane looking. I have never seen the reflection of the beam across the room like this because the only way you're going to see that is reflective metal god damn look at that okay i think this is getting out of control you guys did you just disappear where'd he go Did we do something wrong? Is this our last day here on, on Earth, guys? What is it? I don't know. April 21st, 2016. And here's the death of us all, folks. See how bad this is today? You can see what's going on here. It's like a mist. It's like a bunch of particulates dumped in the sky. Oh, we have no airplanes? Wow. See, people are just, I guess, so lost they can't figure this out. A day like today. I thought it'd be quite amazing to upload this to show you something, folks. Remember what it used to look like? You can see. There they are, working it back and forth over the Catalina Mountain. Isn't that special? Oh, did all the flights for the entire city, did they just stop today? Gee willikers. They must have. Yeah. What do you suppose? They're going to kill us all today? Ah, who knows? Probably. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. Huh. Either they're just really badly blocking the beer, or we're, uh, we're pretty close. Okay, folks, this is beyond a, a bad dream. This is beyond a fantasy world here. This is... This is Armageddon. Okay? I, Chris Haskell... I uh, am not ever going to commit suicide. Here we are, Tucson, Arizona. Being sprayed with powdered metals, geoengineering to them. Thursday the 10th. Tucson, Arizona. See any patterns here? <laughs> yeah. Apocalypse. Ready? Okay. How do you think of that, huh? 
I love the striping. I think it's beautiful. Clean, beautiful air. Sure. Uh huh. Pretty sure. Yeah. Quite obvious. The death in the air. You know, do things for a large company. Uh, then they they said, well, could you keep the writing off your vehicle? Okay. Sure. Not a problem, so you're not seeing any writing on there, are you? What's wrong with the sky? Oh my golly, they must have stopped all the air flights. You think? They must have, because there's no chemtrails. On March 3rd, 2016, Thursday, over Tucson, it is looking exactly the same. You see what it's made up out of? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we did it. Oh yeah. No, no, no writing here, uh-uh. So here we are, 24th of February, 2016. Look at this. Pretty simple. Artificial particulates dumped into the sky by airplane. We're beyond the point of having to explain to people or how you can figure this out. Well, anyone that's got any intelligence whatsoever can figure this out. Only complete, total idiots think that these are just, oh, they're all natural clouds. I'd be on the same garbage every single day. Geoengineering at its, at its finest, huh? The blue lights are incredible, the whole van lights up underneath it, but I've already been pulled over twice for that. So. And my lights I use to get to my driveway, they work quite well. <laughs> They're actually quite incredible. So, here we are. Real News Tucson, reporter Chris Haskell. Let me know what you think of the van. Has it got any information on it? <laughs> yeah. It's perfectly normal. Happened to be a cloud that just showed up. Yeah. You know, when I see that, it makes me really happy to be alive, huh? And here, here we are. What do you think, huh? Oh, you know, just a normal sky. Just everyday, typical contrails. Yeah. yeah. In the past, I might have thought that was really cool, but pretty evil now. Started to fade away here. A double rainbow there. Welcome to my world. My continuous nightmare. For some strange reason it just doesn't seem to end. This is it. This should be everyone's nightmare. Yesterday was a horrible spray day, lots of geoengineering in the air, and today, well, let me see, hmm, see anything suspicious here? Yeah. Look at this. So yeah, definitely a lot of artificial particulates being dumped, thousands and thousands of pounds, looks like. Crazy. Right, later. So here we are, a little bit later, and wow, it's just, it's quite evil. Here, guys. I mean, Obviously, as uh, anyone semi-intelligent can tell here, they have the harp array turned on as the white powder particulates being dumped into the sky, which are definitely not clouds, okay, the things you're looking at, they turn into pattern forms, which is like lines, and uh, amazingly enough, they look almost like electricity patterns. Well, look at this. Is that incredible? It's about as evil as it gets right there. See that? Yeah, who can't see that? I never used to see this prior to about six, seven years ago, it started getting worse. Fresh trail right there, geoengineering. 
aerosol disbursements of particulates that we're going to breathe no matter whether you want to or not. Okay, I'll take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is what Tucson is experiencing right here. This is just disgusting. This is out of control. Howdy folks. Today I'm doing a very important story. And my story today is about the importance of smart meters. Most likely it's just particulates. This is like that there, that's quite an obvious dump of thousands of pounds, particulates. Nothing else that could possibly be. It looks to me like this is uh, like near the end, okay? Because uh, they're going for broke. And I'd say if uh, there's ever a time when you need to stand up, uh, this is probably it. You seeing this, folks? Okay. At what point do you want to stand up for yourselves? Okay, I just uploaded my video from today, and I missed this one. Here comes this friendly guy here. Showed you what was earlier. Oh, you're doing a good job. That's just bad. Just cloud cover. Yeah, that's it. Just listen to the meteorologist. Um, I'm here to talk about, uh, you know, the county supervisors, Pima County supervisors. Went ahead and, uh, did you guys all a favor, everyone living in Pima County, because they went ahead and made the decision to invest in businesses. Now, claiming that they're out of money, they don't have money to pay people, they don't have money for anything, so, but they are going to spend 15 million dollars on some property. They're going to buy it so they can lease it out to a business, a Tucson locally owned business for, uh, now I'm being serious, <laughs> for people to take spacecrafts up in the, in the air. So, when are we going to do something about it, folks? It ain't no time to fucking, oh, let's just look up or let's get more people notified. And, no, let's start demanding. You know, you don't fucking wait till you're dead to complain about something, okay? So, go. It's the last day of uh, 2015. I haven't done a video in a couple days. And, I mean, look at this. <laughs> you know? Get started. Have a good year end, huh? <laughs> Christmas and uh, <laughs> and uh, hope you have a, a great New Year's. <laughs> Jerk, try to make a video here. All right.